Hi, this is a video about an oft asked question. What are the pendulum settings on jigsaws for? And what do they do? I've got a couple of jigsaws here. This is a little line hill cordless, part of the power exchange series. This is a big DeWalt um, jigsaw. The big DeWalt 110 volt has got three pendulum settings above its exact setting, so four settings in all, and so has the, the little one. You can see an exact setting and three angle pendulum settings. Now, the pendulum setting is designed to stop the blade simply going up and down. There are two types of jigsaw, one's an orbital setting, sorry about that, and the other is a pendulum setting, they're pretty much the same thing. Instead of the blade simply going up and down and all parts of the blade touching the timber at the same time as it cuts its way through, the pendulum setting goes up and down and backwards and forwards so that only a small part of the blade is touching the timber at any one time and moving away from the timber at the same time. That clears the cut for the sawdust to get out of the way. It's only cutting a smaller piece of timber at any one time so it can go through thicker timber more quickly. And for the exact setting, the setting where most of the blade is touching most of the timber most of the time, um, you would use that on thin um, timber or thin metal if you're cutting through metal. Um, and the saw can then cut straight through on the line that you're asking it to. And because the timber's thin, there's not a lot of the blade touching the, the surface at any one time. However, with thicker pieces of wood, you need to increase the angle so that less blade is touching the timber and it saws its way through. So that's what a temp, uh, uh, pendulum setting is for. I'm gonna show you a little example to see if we can get this to work here. I'm gonna put the sole plate against a piece of timber and you can see there that the angle, this, this jigsaw is in its zero setting or its exact setting and I'm going to draw a line along the back of the blade. Now as I operate the blade, watch closely, and in that setting, in its zero setting or its exact setting, you will see that the blade simply runs backwards and forwards on that line so that on the front edge where the teeth are, if I were to cut this piece of timber, all of the blade would be cutting down in the same place all of the time. Okay. Now on thicker pieces of timber that makes the cut quite hard. You're less likely to be able to get the blade through without forcing it. But if I change now to one of the settings, I'm hoping the camera can pick that up. As I change this to setting number one, you'll see that the blade has moved and by pressing the jigsaw again, the trigger again, you can see that the blade isn't just going backwards and forwards, it's moving from side to side. Setting number two, put that there and we'll do the same thing again. So it's at a shallower angle and moving backwards and forwards more fiercely. And finally, it's maximum setting. So it's maximum setting we would use, let's put that back to zero. You can see that, that hasn't moved at all. So as we change the pendulum setting, we're asking the May blade to move from front to back as well as up and down. The front of the blade, less of the blade is touching the timber at any one time and it's easier to cut thicker pieces of timber. To demonstrate that, it doesn't make the cut any less accurate of course, it just means that it cuts through it more easily. To demonstrate that we will use this on the exact setting and try and cut through this thick piece of timber, if the camera's got me.
I was pressing quite hard then but because the blade is faced with a lot of resistance as it touches the face of that timber it was really quite hard to cut. I'm going to turn that onto its pendulum setting, its maximum pendulum setting and I'll put it in the same cut and watch the difference. Now that is with an 18 volt cordless jigsaw, uh, admittedly a very powerful cordless jigsaw, um, but imagine the difference that makes with a big 110 volt or a sight based jigsaw, quite a lot. So the higher the pendulum setting, the thicker the timber, the easier it is to cut through. That's what a pendulum setting does on a jigsaw, hope that's clear, stick with DIY Doctor for lots of other videos.